Hello, Nez Nation. I'm going to show you this incredible video of Senator Josh Hawley absolutely dismantling Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm. But I just want to give you a little bit of context first. Um, Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm was questioned by Senator Josh Hawley before Congress due to con discrepancies regarding her statements about stock ownership. Obviously, when you hold a position like that, you're held to the highest ethical and legal standards. Uh, initially, during an April Senate Energy and Natural Resources Committee hearing, Granholm testified that she did not own any individual stocks, stating she was only invested in mutual funds. And then so watch what, what Senator Hawley does here in just absolutely eviscerating her lack of transparency, her lack of ethics, and her potential conflict of interest, which, by the way, being the energy secretary, you have an impact over policies. You have an impact over if you have an actual conflict of interest, what can happen is, is that you could influence energy policies that might favor certain companies and technologies potentially leading to less competitive or less efficient, let's say, outcomes. And it could impact energy bills. It could impact what we pay for gas, electric, for our air conditioners, and, and everything else that utilities are involved in. So let's check out the video here, and then I'm going to tell you my thoughts on what I call probably one of the most powerful videos, maybe one of the most powerful advertisements for a potential former president of these United States. Watch this. When you were here last, I talked with you about the fact that more than 130 officials in the Energy Department reported more than 2,700 trades of shares, bonds, and options in companies that ethics officers said was directly related to the agency's work. This is institutionalized corruption. And I asked you point blank, do you own any individual stock? And you told me, no. Let's just look at it. It was not a difficult question. Do you own individual stocks, Madam Secretary? You said no. In fact, you repeated it three times to me. No, no, no. Turns out that was false. You did own multiple individual stocks, and you neglected to report it to this committee for months afterwards. Why did you mislead this committee? Oh, my goodness. That was exactly my response. So why did Senator, you mislead this committee? I believed that I had sold all individual stocks, and I was incorrect. So I came back and You just don't know told, your portfolio? Um, pretty much. It's a big one, I guess, huh? No, it's extremely small. Um, Apparently not. Someone manages it for you? So I came back as soon as I found out that, in fact, I had not sold all individual stocks. Wait, 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 wait. No, that's not true either. Let's just look at the timeline. Let, let's not. You're, I just remind you, you're under oath. Madam Secretary, you testified you didn't own any individual stocks. You didn't sell the stocks for a whole nother month. And after you sold the stocks, you waited another month before you informed this committee. Why did you mislead us and what were you hiding? Why did you wait so long? Why did you hide this? I did not hide it because I brought it forth to the committee when I realized that we had made a mistake. Really? What, what, what explains the delay? Why did you wait for a full month to, expo to explain your actions to this committee, your that, false testimony? Uh, that's less than a month, and I sent a letter explaining what had happened. May the 15th to June the 9th. Are we gonna... I owned a, a Ford stock that was... You Ford misled this stock. committee, and you wait. What were the stocks? What were the stocks that you owned? It was a Ford stock that my husband had owned since he was very young, and uh, I just was not aware of it. And what were the others? You sold six stocks. What were the other five? Uh, I sold uh, non-conflicting stocks. What were they? I don't, I don't honestly. I don't even know. I do know the Ford one because that was a conflict. You don't. And that's why you I raised don't, this. It, you're here before this committee a year later after actively misleading to us, after denying and delaying and delaying, and now you won't tell us. Was one of them Proterra? No. You sat on the board of directors oh at Proterra. You made millions, CNN reports, and stock options at Proterra. Then you, you promoted Proterra stock and Proterra products as energy not. secretary. Sure. Was sure. that one of the sure. stocks that you sold? This is so... I, I mean, really. Was that one of the really? stocks that you sold? Yes, no. really. No. You are presiding over institutionalized corruption in your energy department. You I'm have so violated sorry, the Stock Act nine separate 
times. You have been referred by the Inspector General for violations of the Hatch Act. It is institutionalized corruption that you are now the face of. And here's what I'm trying to figure out. I just want to know who really runs the Energy Department. Is it you? Or is it the mega corporations whose stock that you own that you're making profits in? Oh, my goodness. Or maybe it's the foreign billionaires who fund your conferences. Let's try something else. Do you know the names of the foreign billionaires who fund the conferences you go to? Since you don't know the socks, do you know the names of the foreign billionaires? This is unbelievable to me. Uh, Let me help Mr. you. Mr. Chairman. One of them is Hans like Org Weiss, a Swiss billionaire who has used various dark money front I do groups not know what you to are funnel talking about. various dark money front groups to funnel foreign money into American politics. He has used the Burger Action Fund, $20 million, that then sent money to the Fund for a Better Future, that then sent money to the Climate Power Group that has funded conferences you've attended. Do you know who this is? Do you I think it's a no good idea, idea to attend is. conferences no idea by foreign billionaires? About. I have no idea what you're talking about. You don't about. know the stocks. You don't know the billionaires. You would take no responsibility. Meanwhile, stock. your energy department, executives in your energy department are trading stocks in, in companies that they have direct oversight over, and you were too. Um, that is incorrect. I, Nobody in my in the Department of Energy, and we have a strong ethics office, does not trade stocks in anything that they have oversight over. That's, that People is, that is simply stocks. not true, Madam Secretary. Sir, the Wall Street Journal Senator, has reported on Senator, this extensively. If I may, Wall Street if Journal, I may Senator, if, if I may just ask the question, is it possible that uh, maybe we can continue this at a later time? But if you had any questions on the energy, direct energy policies? But, Mr. Chairman, this is directly relevant to institutionalized corruption in the Department of Energy that she oversees. You were, I think, about to say that, that the Wall Street Journal report's wrong. The Wall Street Journal report did not say that people over whom they were, were in areas where they were directly overseeing had stocks. They did not. Our ethics office consults with all of our employees that need to be, con that, that uh, have a re reporting requirement about their stock holdings. They do not own stocks in areas that they have any influence over, nor do I. Madam Secretary, all I have to say is this record is just deplorable. It is despicable. It is outrageous that hundreds of officers in the Energy Department are trading shares. Incorrect. It is outrageous that you it's misled incorrect. us. It is outrageous incorrect. that you it's are continuing incorrect. to mislead us. And it is outrageous you're going to conferences and events funded by foreign billionaires using dark money to try to influence our politics. This has got to change. And frankly, you should go. You know, I know that uh, a lot of these committees and a lot of these, you know, televised um, you know, line of uh, uh, sort of cross examinations and d direct questioning. There, there, there. A lot of it is theatrics. It's political theater. It's uh, uh, grandstanding. Yeah, it is, et cetera, et cetera. But the, I just got to say, this guy, Senator Josh Hawley, uh, who you know um, has been serving uh, the the great people of Missouri, as well as you know, he was a lawyer. Uh, he 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 has a vitality to him. He has an articulateness about him. He has an energy about him. He's clear. He's concise. Um, it's such a stark difference. And, and it just, to me, further exemplifies why we need some change in Washington, why we need to maybe perhaps have age caps. Look, I'm, I'm getting old too. There, there's, I don't think that maybe I should be running for an office of that import, leader of the free world, past a certain age. I think there's a reason why most people, you know, most CEOs, most businesses, they have caps that you can't have a CEO over a certain age. Unrealistic uh, probabilities and outcomes that this is what happens to us as we age, we get past a certain age and it's just natural. It's the same thing with athletes. It's anything. So I'm just... Uh, you know, when I say that I think this is a future advertisement, I truly believe Josh Hawley and maybe even people of his ilk, young, smart, articulate, decisive, vivacious, uh, they, they exude uh, this, this sense of commanding the energy around them, the air about them, and, 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 and they have a conviction to them that I think is sorely missing in what's in our options today. We've got two people running for office right now who are over 75 years old. One of them 
is blatantly incontinent, blatantly in cognitive decline. There's no, I mean, literally facing early senility, if not downright dementia, uh, and that's Tombstone Biden. Um, Trump still has a lot of vitality, but I do think he's old. I think maybe he's perhaps too old. Um, given the options, though, you know, I mean, we, we know who we need to choose uh, if we want this country to succeed. Um, it's just so interesting to me. I, I want to throw this off to you. What did you think of that? What are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. What do you think of Senator Josh Hawley? What do you think of, you know, how stumbling, mumbling, and fumbling Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm was? Do you believe her? I believe Josh Hawley. I believe she is being uh, controlled by uh, um, financial incentives, financial interests. I think she did violate uh, her conflict of interest in trading stocks uh, that, that definitely uh, faced a direct conflict of interest of her position. Uh, I think she uh, committed an ethical uh, and uh, legal uh, compliance uh, violations. So I would love to hear from you. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And, and the whole reason for doing this video is not just to show, you know, a cool video, which it is a really, really powerful video, but just to say that, you know, this country moving forward, we need to encourage, we need to support, we need to put our efforts, our votes, our energies behind, I think, people like Josh Hawley. I think people who show a vitality, show an energy, show a power to articulate, communicate the interests of the American people in such a fashion that gives us a global perception of strength and an American perception of trust. And I just think that he's really, really interesting. Bookmark this video. This guy is going to run for president. Maybe in the next 10, 15 years, you're going to hopefully sooner. I think this guy is going to run for president. I think he's got a really, really good shot at winning. Am I nuts? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much. As always, if you made it this far, make sure that you uh, become a Nez Nation Insider. It's absolutely free. It's our free newsletter where you get all the best breaking news, live, current events, top stories right to your inbox. And it's absolutely free. It's in the pinned comment, in the description, and in the show notes. Consider becoming a member. We have a brand new members only Discord. We have lively conversations, interactions. Yours truly is in there. Consider it's only for members. Consider becoming a member of our channel and cost you a cup of coffee to support the truth and get our country back. Check out these videos coming up right here. They're amazing, especially this one I just did recently. Follow, subscribe, and as always, this nation, God bless you. And God bless America. I'll see you soon.